All ready, Mr. Drake? Yep. Here's your passport. Thanks. Airline ticket. Okay. Seat reservation. Right. Cars outside. Okay. Oh, and I filed those papers you That's asked me right. to file. Don't worry, Helen. Everything's in hand. Goodbye, Helen. Goodbye, Mr. Drake. Thanks very much. Oh, and don't forget, cable Bill and Kitty and tell them I'll call them as soon as I get to Rio Airport. Enjoy yourself. It's about time you took a vacation. Okay. Yes? Oh, no. It's not fair. What's the matter? Mr. Gordon's on his way down. There's a situation cropped up in Korea. Oh, he can't do this to me. Go now, quickly. Uh, no, they'll they get me at the airport. This is the third time. Why does it always happen to you? It's all right. Stay with me. Keep busy. Do something. Uh, morning, Henry. Morning, John. Just leaving. Leaving? Oh, yes. yes. Your vacation, of course. That's right. Why, of course. You wouldn't have any other ideas, would you? Well, as a matter of fact, a situation has just cropped up in Korea. We wondered if you might like to fly around to Rio that way. It won't take much longer. Oh, is that an order? If you'd like to put it that way. Yes, it is. All right, Mr. Gordon. I'm on my way. Oh, when you finish there, Helen, would you, would you cancel my rear reservation for me, please? <laughs> Duty calls. Great. Yeah? Are you all right? On top of the world, Mr. Gordon. You've been drinking, huh? Oh, no, just a couple of snorts, just to keep me ticking. This time of the morning? When did you last have a holiday, John? Oh, three or four years ago. But don't worry about it, Henry. Work comes first with me. You've seen the doctor lately? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. What did he say? Take a holiday. I think that's what you'd better do, John. We'll send somebody else to Korea. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Gordon. I wouldn't let you down. I, I'm on my way right away. You're on your way to Rio, John, and that's an order. Take your time. If you say so, Henry. Okay, if you say so. All right. Bye, Helen. Bye, Henry. Quick, Mr. Drake. Every government has its secret service branch. America at CIA, France, Desiem Bureau, England, MI5. A messy job? Well, that's when they usually call on me or someone like me. Oh, yes. My name is Drake. John Drake. Oh, lucky me old Darren, have you been? Uh, just bring the uh, green canvas back. Leave the rest for now, will you? Thanks. I returned from two weeks on safari. And now all I wanted to do was sleep. Oh, pardon me. I thought that this was my... I, uh, I thought this was my room. It is my room. Would you gentlemen mind telling me what's going on here? Oh, uh, pardon me. Would you mind taking your boat away and playing with it somewhere else? Who are you? My name is John Drake. I'm tired and I want to sleep. Mr. Drake, at last. Here, try this on and then I'll be able to get home. Well, no one's stopping you. Is that you, Drake? Where did he get to? Been looking for you everywhere. I'm Commander Ford. Good for you. Now tell me what it's all about. Just fixing a leak in the cylinder. Fine. Now take your toys away and go and play in your own bathtub. I have plans for you. <laughs> I got plans for myself. A nice long spell on my bed when I can get to it. British intelligence. What's your problem, my friend? A KX-35 has gone ashore 200 miles south of St. Camel. So? It's a miniature submarine, prototype, on the secret list. Navigation by remote control from mothership. What am I supposed to do about it? We want you to go and blow her up. You're joking. Can't you tow her off? Not even going to try. Why not? 
They've had dealings with their government before. If they get wind of what's really at stake, they'll tie the whole thing up for days while they give the other people a free show of every secret inside her. Oh, no, Mr. Drake, not this time. The orders are for us to find and destroy. Well, for me to find and destroy? Why me? Well, we can't do it ourselves. We don't want to cause an international incident. <laughs> it was a great piece of luck you're being here. Lucky for whom? Of course, you'll admit to no attachments. You'll just be working on your own. But they play it rough down there, don't they? I doubt it. They can't do more to you than send you to prison. A couple of years at the outside. Oh, that's reassuring, isn't it? You know a position? Yes. I'll show you. Oh, uh, what was your KX-35 doing inside their international limits, if it's not a rude question? Not at all. The steering failed. Outside international limits. She went on a reef here. The observer crew got away in a rubber dinghy. They were some distance off when a large wave lifted the sub clean over the reef. Now, the last they saw of her, she was drifting landwards with only a cunning tar showing. Well, I suppose at that depth, her drift wouldn't be affected by wind, would it? Hardly. <laughs> now, let me see. By time, tide and current, we can say that she must have gone ashore somewhere along this stretch of coast here. Many people around there? No, very remote. The chances are she won't even have been sighted yet. Speed is the essence of the exercise. You had to get your gear together at rather short notice. Uh, not 100%, I'm afraid, but uh, it'll see you through. The explosive. Very effective, but temperamental. Oh, in what way? Well, the timing device is inclined to be a little erratic. Why, how much? As much as five seconds either way. We were going to send it back. Lucky we didn't. I'm very fortunate. Lost a man testing it the other day. But you won't be wanting any split-second timing. We're taking you in a helicopter. We're putting you down in the sea in this craft here. About three miles offshore, an hour before dawn. The rest is up to you. Things went wrong from the start. We struck engine trouble with the hired helicopter. It was not till two hours after dawn that I reached the shore and paddled round the headlands and inlets looking for KX-35. But there was no sign of it. It was already high water. I decided to climb to the top of the cliff. From that angle, I'd be able to see below the surface. But in case someone came up the beach while I was away, I decided to hide my gear. I was feeling uncomfortably conspicuous. They said a group are very good around here. Corto? Underwater fishing. <laughs> a fine horse, senorita. How did you get here? By fishing boat. They're going to pick me up later. What fishing boat? <laughs> you know what, senorita? I think you're a policeman. You have no right here. You are trespassing. Oh, now, does it matter? The air is free and... I will not have people on my land. Of course, I should have asked permission. Very well, senorita. I now ask you formally, may I please have the pleasure of fishing on your very beautiful feet? Huh. That way. Walk. Oh, very well. If you feel so strongly about it, uh, we'll walk. I went quietly. If I'd put up too much resistance, they would have become suspicious. Why were they so anxious to get rid of me? I'll throw in my oil concession. And my gold mine. What have you got there? You shark! You cheated! It's not fair! 
How do you draw such cards? It's unnatural. Oh, no, you go and swindle somebody else. Now I will drive you back to the port. My father will be pleased to entertain you while I get ready. Good day, senorita. You won't be gone now. They phoned again today. They will be here by midday. Father, please, don't distress yourself. I'll come straight back. Melina, we will never get such a chance again. Yes, father, I know. Good day, senor. I, uh... Didn't catch your name, senor. Manuel Mendez. I met your daughter on the beach. My beach? She said it was her beach, but I expect so in the family. What were you doing on my land, senor? What could I do to hurt you? You afraid that I would take it away from you? Why are you so afraid, senor? Afraid? You think I'm a frightened old man because my hair is gray and I sit in this wheelchair? I would fight any man who tried to take this land away from me, senor. Any man. You can't fight the jungle, senor. Jungle? Yes, I had to walk from the beach. It's pitiful. The estate that is choked, dying. In another year, it will be back to the jungle again. The don't! Get out from my house! Sorry, senor. I speak only the truth. say to my father. Well, it's trying to find out why you're all so anxious to get rid of me. We do not like strangers here. Particularly at this time. Ah, you see, senor, here's fight for me to stay here. I'm sorry if I offended you, senor. Uh, I was perhaps impolite, but then you were not very hospitable. Just because a foreign craft is washed up on your shore is no reason to treat me like... You your, did see it then. Your daughter told me about it. Melina! You told him about the submarine? She's lying. I never That's said... That's right. Neither did I. I just said a foreign craft. It was you, senor, who mentioned the submarine. He can't leave now. He will have to stay. Ah. Now, senor, I understand why you were so unfriendly. You did not wish for your secret to be discovered. You have told the authorities yet? No. Perhaps they would not pay you for the information. The British consul, perhaps. It's none of your business. Very well. You found her on your property. You deserve to be rewarded. I am willing to pay you. What is your interest in the summary? Or private interest. Let us say personal whim. I wish to blow her up. I am willing to pay $5,000 for the privilege. No. Ten. <laughs> Very well, senor. Since you've been so hospitable, I will pay you ten. And uh, where do you find ten thousand dollars, senor? Here are five. Your pardon. And the rest? The rest in two days. Here, I promise. It's agreed. I take your word. It's no use. It's too late. No, it's not. You want the explosive? Yes. You must go and blow the vessel up right away. Well, what's the hurry? No questions, please. It is now or not at all. Very well. Her position, then. You do not know it? No, I do not know it. Come inside. It is among some rocks. There. Beneath the surface? Part of it shows above the water at low tide. Mm -hmm. But that is not for two hours yet. You must not wait. I shall need my diving gear. Oh, no. Oh, yes. It's necessary to fix the charges inside the hull. But empty the cylinders. I let oxygen escape. Why did you do that? To stop him from getting to the submarine. Well, we shall have to wait for low water. Oh, no. That will be too late. Here 
get your money. Now, please go away, at once. This is not the British Consul. No, I found them last night. They promised them photographs. Money is so important to you, even their money? Do you think it matters to me what color their money is? The plantation is bankrupt. I've got my father and my sister to think of. You were prepared to break your promise to these gentlemen. You offered five times as much as they did. Huh? Here. The money, it is yours. I need your help. If I can blow her up before they get the photographs, I will still give you 10,000. All right. Senor? Senorito Piero. Yes, senor. Major Hassler, at your service. We have come to take the pictures. Oh, I'm afraid I have bad news for you, Major. Indeed? The submarine has gone. It must have washed further down the coast. And you brought me all this way to tell me that? It was a great disappointment to us all, Major. And who are you, sir? My name is Mendez. Oh, then you are not one of the family. No, I am the senorita's fiancé. It's a very great honor, Major. Congratulations. And at what time did you first notice that the submarine had gone? At dawn. I looked down from the top of the cliff. There was no sign of it. Are you sure you're not mistaken? Oh, certain. I could not have missed it. How very extraordinary, senorita. Because, you see, I flew over there only an hour ago, and she was there beneath the surface, just where you reported her. What are you up to? What game are you playing at? I was not here last night. Otherwise, I'd never have allowed Molina to make such an arrangement with you. But the senorita has already promised. Yes, but the offer is shameful. We must have $5,000 in cash before you take a single photograph. We have already agreed on the price. Yes, but there is no agreement, my... Get off our stake. Go now. Fedor, show Senor Mendez the agreement, please. Not legal, but compelling. Well, very well. If you wish to play it like this. I think you will admit, Senor, that the agreement is now broken. Leave it. You are very impetuous, Senor Mendez, and the cost of the camera will be taken out of your payment. Return to the port and do not come back without another camera. All right. And don't be too long. We can only get the pictures at low water. At midday, I think you said. And would you be so good as to have a meal prepared for us? We've had a long journey and we are hungry. Senor Mendez, where are you going? Oh, well, the estate will not run itself. There is work to be done. Then you will have to leave it. No one is allowed to leave this house till we have all gone. Very well. I work. Can always wait, senor. Thank you, my dear. You should have told me about it before. It is not important. I'm sure he left. I don't like it, Papa. Where did he come from? That is the oh, question. What are you talking about? Huh? Oh, <laughs> it is nothing. You had uh, better tell it, my dear. Come, senorita, tell me. What is it? It was early this morning. I was on a cliff top. I saw a man. On the beach, you know. How did he get there? By boat, perhaps. Did you see a boat? No. Or perhaps he's hidden it. What was he doing there? I don't know. Came to fish, perhaps. Was he fishing? No. He had a diving mask and... Um, Cylinders. Cylinders. A spearing underwater, it, uh, it ruins the fishing, you know. Was he near the submarine? Well, in the next bay. He was looking for it. There was not much he could do about it if he found it, except to uh, blow her up, perhaps. But he could not get to it until low tide. He had diving gear. Come, we must go to the beach at once. I'll show you the quickest way down, huh? Please, quickly. There's someone around here. Is uh, this where you saw him? Yes, I'm certain. He must have left tracks. Search the beach. See what you can find. Look. There are horse tracks here. But look, a man. Hey, Major! Look! I was right. On the map. A chart of this coastline. 
the drift of the submarine is marked to this very piece of coast. Well, don't just stand there. See what else you can find. Give him a hand to pull it out. Careful. There might be explosives. Where is Senor Mendez? I think... Major! See what I have found. An ammunition box. There's only one charge left. I wonder what he did with the rest. He has taken them with him. Huh? Here, leave that. Come with me. We'll try this way first. You stay here. But I want it. Don't move. It will go off. Let him try. I'd set on the beach was due to go off in 45 seconds. I hoped the diversion would be my chance to escape. The charges in the submarine were set to go off a few seconds later. I was praying that the commander's thermal fuses would not prove too temperamental. again soon. Are you just going to let him get away like that? Can't stop him any more than he can stop me. Leave that to his friends. They'll stop him one way or another. They've got no time for failures. from Washington, sir. Oh, uh, Drake here. There's a little thing we'd like you to do for us before you get back, John. Uh, like a trip to Korea. I was trying to contact you all yesterday. There's a miniature submarine missing down there. Do what you can to help them if it's not too late. Oh, uh, that's all right, Harry. Uh, don't worry. It'll take time, but I'll hunt it down. I'll call you back in a couple of days. Goodbye, Henry. Thank you very much indeed.